It's campaign season, so BS is flying across your screens in every corner of the nation. So we said fuck it, and we came to Alexandria, where we're sitting down with a smart lawmaker. So smart, he decided to throw in the towel and never run again. Let's see if he'll get back in the ring one more time, as Bills and Brews has a drink with 12-term Northern Virginia Congressman Jim Moran. Crack a beer and watch me go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a congressman who actually once got in a fight on the House floor. Will anyone in Washington tell us what the hell's on their mind? We may have struck gold with Congressman Moran. Let's go crack some brews. Cheers, Congressman. You're retiring? Let's no. get drunk. Do you come here often, or do you? I come here when I can. I, yeah. I, I don't get the time, and I'm not sure if I had the time. I should be spending my time in a brewery <laughs> on a regular basis, but when I have That's a, not true. When right? I have a decent excuse, I, I do. We've had a fundraiser here, actually. I saw that fundraiser. Yeah. 100, you charged 100 to $500 a ticket yeah. to have a beer. To have That's, a beer. Yeah. But isn't that so. a little undemocratic? Well, I, I saw several people stay later and, and buy $5 beers. Do you remember your first drink? Yeah, uh, my father worked for Miller Brewing Company, and uh, so we'd always have cases in the barn. We didn't drink them because we were intimidated by my father. But I was big for my age, and so I started buying for uh, some of the football team when I was, you know, 16 years old. So if you were buying beer for people when you were 16, yeah. 17, yeah. Did you ever, have you ever thought about lowering drinking age? Teach? Not to 16, no. Uh, uh, I don't really care so much when kids drink as long as they don't drive and the concern is that they do. You started your career, no. I guess, 80s or 70s? I started uh, my political career in you know, 1978, I was elected in 79. What do you think of how just politics changed in that couple decades span? The political process has been corrupted by money, by technology by uh, ideology, really. By yeah. politicians? Yeah, sure. But your party's but the politicians just as much... aren't so much in control of it, frankly. The people who want to use the Congress are running it. The people with deep pockets who uh, have a vested interest. And their principal purpose is to deregulate the industry to, so that they can pay less taxes as well. So they put large sums of money into campaigns, normally into primary campaigns. They really don't care how well a member serves the interests of their constituency. They care about how the member's going to vote on issues that are of particular importance to their industries, their investments. And they uh, are fearful uh, not so much the general election as the primary, because it's in a primary where uh, the big money can come in. If they haven't told the, the mark, then, then um, they can be challenged. But you always have been pretty progressive. Are you part of the problem? Um, you know, I, I, uh, I pretty well vote my conscience. I've oftentimes voted uh, contrary to the caucus. You said you pretty well vote your conscience. Yeah. When have you felt pressure well, not to? Well, so, you know, I have to make decisions. If, if the caucus really wants a vote, the leadership wants a vote, you know, you decide it is it something that I can, uh, I can do without feeling too compromised. But that's just party some, politics. Yeah. I mean, Isn't that uh, detrimental to the nation, though? Or? I don't think it's, it's detrimental. If I thought it was detrimental to the nation, I, I wouldn't do it. Uh, but there have been issues in the District of Columbia, for example. A lot of the public schools are not very effective. They're not even safe. And, and so even though I have supported teachers and in in Eleanor Holmes Norton, I, I have some questions about uh, whether funding charter schools and funding some of the Catholic schools wasn't the right thing to do for a number of families. I voted that way for her and for the Democratic caucus and for the teachers. But, but I, what about your constituents like, here? I don't know that many of them were, were even aware of the vote. I think most of them would accept my judgment in some situations where they, the problems get extreme. You need to veer from orthodoxy and do the pragmatic thing. Back in 95, Moran got in such a heated floor debate that it ended in a bench-clearing congressional brawl. You don't look happy. Yeah, Duke was a bit of a jerk there, interrupting me, and, and uh, 
Because Denny Hoyer wanted his words taken down. Mm. I, I didn't want his words taken down. I didn't want him to apologize. I wanted to deal with this, this the way they would in South Boston. Duke gave his uh, speech. And then I walked up behind Duke and I put my hands on his shoulders and said, well, we've got to walk outside. And he said, no, we're not. And I said, yeah, we are. I wound up kind of lifting his jacket, his shoulders up a bit and just kind of pushed him, I'm afraid, up the aisle. And then we got to the doors and he, he stopped. And so I pushed him through the door. And so the doors slammed, they reverberated. And the acoustics are such in the floor of the house that there was the slam just woke everyone up. We swung at each other. I think our fists may have connected, and, and unfortunately, Duke broke his, broke his hand. But at that point, Bob Dornan busted through the door, and he was screaming, I'm going to kick your blank and Irish blank. And then George Miller came out and grabbed Bob Dornan under the neck and held him up. Bob was kind of kicking at me, so I asked George to, to, to drop him so I could hit him because I wasn't going to hit him while George was holding him. And he says, you can't hit me. You can't hit me. I'm a presidential candidate. I'm protected. You can't hit me. And then Bill Baker came in, grabbed Obi's arm. So Obi turned on Baker and said, let go of my arm or I'll put your ass on the floor. They started scuffling, swinging at each other like this kind of wildly. And then uh, all of the police came. It, was, it looked kind of like a bench-clearing brawl. So anyways, it eventually settled down. I looked for Duke, and he was actually crying. He was ups upset about it, I, I think both because he had broken his hand, but he was also, it had just gotten carried away. So I said I was sorry and started talking with him, and, and um, um, we beca actually became friends. You made a grown congressman cry. That, well, I don't. Do I mean, I don't that? want to take. Uh, we were about the same. How size. did your hand feel? Uh, well, it was okay. It's all a matter of, uh, you know, whether it's twisted or straight. I'm no Duke Cunningham, but I can throw a mean uppercut. No, don't. What do you have in mind here? We got this. Oh, it's shakers. You ready? Yeah. Do you know this? Well, I've never played it before. <laughs> yes. you oh, both this? hands. Oh, both you hands. Press both hands. Gotcha. Uh, did you really? Oh, uh, you have to lift it up? Yeah. So so you're trying to get an undercut? Oh, yeah. Oh, gee. <laughs> you're, uh, you're an Irishman. Want to do a nip with it? Uh, I'll do a nip with you. Cheers. <sighs> yeah, this has been really edifying. Thank yeah. You. Oh. <laughs> do you want me to drive? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was fun. Oh, and it reminds us, Virginia Senator Mark Warner and his challenger, Ed Gillespie, told us they wanted to be on Bills and Brews, but then I guess they got cold feet and didn't want to be seen drinking a beer in public? Teetotalers. And even though he's retiring, Congressman Rand has our vote. Why? Not because of his politics, but because he was willing to throw some punches, take a shot, and be himself. Any other politicians out there who aren't afraid of their own shadows? You know where to find us. <laughs> good. Oh, you yeah, got me. Yeah, yeah. One to one. So we oh, and we moved this around too. Huh? One to two. Wow. I'm not sure what it is a test of. Uh, oh, I see. You can move these. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, you're is, into is it now. One of your favorite games here. Uh, the press corps bought this during the government okay. shutdown. Yeah. yeah. Well, you you beat me. Uh, yeah. Uh, congratulations, sir. <laughs> Yeah. I saw it. <laughs>